Today I'm doing a drawing demonstration of the Norfolk and Western logo from the 1970s. And anyways, this logo is a good logo to practice as far as it it basically has a lot of straight lines and angles and one of the things it shows you is that as I like to say that drawing and doing lettering the lettering helps you do like a free throw in that you get a lot of practice without doing all the intense drawing. Anyways, what I was going to say is what the NW logo shows you is that the angle of the N, as you can see compared to the angle of the W, the angle of the N is much sharper than the angle of the W. And actually in practicing this, this actually helps you in your practice for drawing trains too. Because seeing how the angle there is like that, your eye starts catching that, that detail, how the N comes down really sharp and the W is a little more slight. And in that sense, that's where you'll start to see things like the slopes on the noses of F units and stuff, the angle they should be at. So actually practicing lettering, you'll learn all kinds of things or improve upon things that you already know. And the good thing, as I've said before about practicing lettering is that it's the kind of thing that you can do As you finish your homework and if you have a free 10-15 minutes you can practice on lettering versus getting totally started on another drawing and feel free to take your time part of why I'm going a little bit faster here is because I'm doing the video and one of the things I always emphasize is taking your time but I know in my videos it doesn't look like I take my time. When I draw the trains I draw, I do take my time quite a bit more. And this is where I've said that one of the best ways to apply the color to the engines, any of the paint that you apply, is that you go against the one line. At least it's the way I do it. If, if you might have your own method, but through the years I've kind of practiced that and it might be a little bit different if you're right-handed versus left-handed too I can imagine but see what happens is is that when you get against that one line that's nice and tight and then you flip it and go against the next line And then kind of what you do is little places that you miss, you kind of touch up on them. And like right here, there's a little place where it went over a little tiny bit. So I'll touch that up and straighten it up. And here's a few spots. And see, practicing all this touching up, this is stuff you do on your final drawings too, is get your eye for where things need touching up. And there we have a basic North